Hi everyone, this is Bruce, the CTO and co-founder of Morpheus Labs. It's great to have Shi Wei with me today. He is the CTO for Huawei Cloud APEC region. Today we are going to talk about relevant cloud and blockchain technology trends, our partnership and benefits of collaboration between Morpheus Labs and Huawei Cloud. So a short introduction about myself first. I've been in software development and technology innovation for more than 20 years. Uh, I was with IBM Singapore for more than 10 years as a lead technology architect. I implemented a blockchain solution using Hyperledger for a world leading bank. And this was the first kind of solution in the APEC region. So in Morpheus Labs, together with my fellow colleagues, we created a leading blockchain service platform established partnerships with most of the significant blockchain protocols and solution providers. Okay, so next let Shivi introduce himself before we start our tech talk. Shivi, please. Okay, thanks Bruce. Hey, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Shui. So also a little bit introduction about myself. I'm from an engineering background. So my first job was a developer in an e-commerce startup company. Um, then I joined IBM China from 2010 as uh, an application architect, mainly focused on FSI industry. In the last six years, I mainly worked in the cloud field as a lead solution architect for Alibaba Cloud, Hashan, and the uh, ANC region. And now I'm working as a CTO for Huawei Cloud uh, for the APEC region. Um, in terms of Huawei Cloud, it has been three years since we first launched in the international market, we have launched the Singapore, Thailand, Hong Kong, and Malaysia regions in the APEC, excluding mainland China. And we offer more than 200 cloud services. Um, for Singapore, as our cloud hub, there are four available zones already. And the fifth one will be available in the middle of this year. We are supporting our customers growing in Huawei Cloud with uh, robust, cost-effective cloud services and strong ecosystem. Thank you. Um, so we will know that the cloud adoption is uh, accelerating throughout the years, uh, and uh, especially you know, during the new normal of this pandemic. Uh, in terms of the trend of cloud, I believe there are three key technologies that are becoming increasingly important compared to the last few years. The first technology, I think it's the containerization. So pretty much every single company I worked with, regardless the size is small or large, they will always consider container deployment instead of the traditional virtual machine deployment. The second trend I think is the pass adoption. So instead of the infrastructure as service, uh, now we are even thinking about you know, serverless. So the idea behind it is always to trust the cloud platform to manage the infrastructure. And uh, for the customer, they can focus on business applications. The third trend, I think, is a multi-cloud capability. Uh, honestly, I still feel there is a lack of general applicable approach to adopt true multi-cloud deployment. But many of my customers are trying different ways to adopt multi-cloud deployment. And the cloud vendors like Huawei Cloud, we are making effort to design cloud services to meet such requirements. And um, that's pretty much what I think the key technology trends that are happening in the cloud field. Now back to you, Bruce. You can maybe you can share a little bit more about the technology trend in the blockchain field. Thanks, Sri. Um, blockchain technology is uh, popular due to its uh, promise to maintain a uh, tamper-proof and reliable distributed ledger. Right, uh, more and more organizations are trying to incorporate blockchain to their applications to optimize their business process or create new business models. So I believe the following technology trends are critical for blockchain adoption in mainstream. So first is the blockchain 
platformization. So it's a pass, right? It's providing end-to-end -end blockchain platform, a tools, marketplace, and need to support production and, and the price grade blockchain networks. So this will allow users to focus on designing and building blockchain solutions without having expertise or deep knowledge in how to operate and manage blockchain and uh, other underlying technologies. So the second is like that should be mentioned. Yeah, so multi-cloud capability is also a technology trend in blockchain space. So blockchain network and solutions can run on multi-cloud or even federated cloud to address performance and the scalability of blockchain solutions in future, right? Uh, the third is interoperability. So this will allow solutions and the digital assets on different blockchains to exchange data or integrate with each other. So this is the technology trends I think will really help the adoption in mainstream for blockchain, right? Yeah. Yeah, so recently uh, Huawei Cloud and the Morpheus Lab has established partnership, right? So we know uh, this partnership will provide a benefit for Huawei Cloud customers and also for Morpheus Lab customers. So we also want to see uh, how this will provide a benefit for all our customers. So should we probably can introduce uh, Huawei Cloud technology roadmap and strategic plan and talk about why uh, Huawei Cloud on board Morpheus Lab platform into your ecosystem? Um, so I mentioned that the three technology trends in the cloud field just previously. Um, that's actually exactly what Huawei Cloud is developing in terms of the pr product development roadmap. Now, in terms of the container services, it is one of our key products to demonstrate the robustness, the ultimate performance, and the ease of management when uh, using Huawei Cloud. Uh, in terms of the past services, we are releasing more and more past services, taking care of security, high availability, and the elasticity to reduce customers' effort when they deploy their applications on Huawei Cloud. So for example, lots of our customers will use our relational database service rather than deploying their databases on virtual machine. And of course, we provide uh, managed the big data platforms and AI platforms. Now, in terms of the services to support multi-cloud deployment, such as the uh, uh, multi-cloud container management platform that we are uh, going to add into our service category, um, such as the Cloud Connect service that we implement to bridge the networks. And also we are providing multiple different cloud deployment models, such as you know, hybrid cloud and dedicated cloud to basically gives us, gives our customers more options where they choose cloud platforms to host their applications. But with all that, uh, Huawei Cloud, our services are usually designed for general purpose, uh, usually not for specific industry or specific domain. So that's why we need to work with our ecosystem partners, such as Morpheus Lab, to provide more industry or domain specific services to further reduce the customer's effort when they building their business applications. For Huawei Cloud, we will always focus on uh, continuously enhancing the cloud platform according to customer or our partner's requirements uh, in terms of security performance, ease of management, et cetera. So this is the last topic. So we conclude uh, today's tech talk. We talk about how uh, Morpheus Labs and Huawei Cloud will work together to capture more enterprise clients. Okay, you point of view, yeah. Okay, um, I think there are at least the three key points that we maybe want to collaborate more in the future. Um, firstly, I think it is the automation part. So this applies to the cloud resource provisioning and uh, auto scaling. So uh, when someone that, you know, they want to create a, a blockchain application, uh, all the cloud services should be provisioned by simply one click. 
and also the workload can be scaled uh, in real time. So I think that is very important because the infrastructure layer should really be made transparent to the end customers. Uh, number two, I think it is the security. Um, of course, one of the purpose of blockchain technology is to share data in a secure manner. So how we can leverage uh, the existing cloud services to protect the data, uh, regardless it is uh, storage or transmission or even you know in the federated data analysis. The third point I think uh, I've mentioned this multiple times that is the multi-cloud deployment. So in theory, the underlying cloud platform should be made transparent to the end users that the blockchain network should be able to run on top of multiple um, cloud platforms. However, we all understand that uh, we need to you know, enable the connectivity across different clouds, and then that brings the security concerns as well as this uh, additional cost will be introduced if we do uh, such deployment. So these are the problems that we definitely need to be uh, addressing in the next few rounds when we, talk, when we work together. Thank you, Bruce. Hey, thanks, Shavi, uh, for sharing uh, your extensive experience in uh, cloud space, right? Cloud technology. I totally agree with your point of view. Um, so when our seed platform instances running on multi-cloud, uh, there will be blockchain use cases that require application integration and data exchange across uh, multi-cloud. As you mentioned, uh, there are security and cost considerations for such multi-cloud use cases. I hope we can have a deep discussion in this topic in future, right? Um, so currently the seed platform is able to provision a development and a test environment with all the tools, resources, and the services required for creating and deploying blockchain applications just by a few clicks. Uh, with the automation in resources provision and auto scaling, security management, and other critical uh, platform services available on Huawei Cloud, as you just mentioned, our seed platform will be able to run production and enterprise grade applications. So this is critical for enterprise to really adopt blockchain solutions. Um, we know cloud adoption is accelerating and blockchain adoption in enterprises is also increasing. So through seed integration on Huawei Cloud, we create a really blockchain ecosystem to serve more and more enterprise clients. I think this is how we can work together, right? To really um, to attract more enterprise clients to use, you know, to adopt blockchain right, uh, in cloud environment. So um, I think we have very uh, good discussion about the technology trends and also our collaboration, right? Um, yeah, so you have anything to add on? I think uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting topic that we spend, uh, you know, the time talking. And uh, I think I'm okay for this session. Definitely, I, I would like to spend more time with you next time. Just talk, you know, elaborate a bit more about all the things we discussed today. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward uh, to see the collaboration and also see fruitful uh, achievement to the collaboration in future. Thanks, Shri, again. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.